catastrophe involving two world record-breaking cats from Farmington Hills. The prized felines were killed in a house fire. Their owners still grieving and now facing another obstacle. In an exclusive interview with 7 Action News, they say it's been difficult to raise money for organizations without Cygnus and Arcturus. Our Simon Chowdhury has their plea tonight in a story you'll see only on 7. We lost all three of our cats and every possession I have ever owned in my entire life. Will and Lauren Powers are still reeling after losing their pets, including two record-holding cats. They died in a fire back in November in Farmington Hills. I mean, they were my kids. I lost my kids. <laughs> they made me so happy. Cygnus held a world record for the longest tail, while Arcturus was the world's tallest domestic cat. They tell us a massage chair started the fire. Will ran through the burning home trying to find the cats, but he couldn't save them. I was, I was inches from them and I just hey, missed them. Hey. After the fire, many wanted to help the powers, but instead they asked the public to donate to the Ferndale Cat Shelter, an organization they've supported for years. They raised about $20,000 and that money went into renovations. Will is the president of the shelter and would bring Arcturus and Cygnus to events to raise funds. He was the big draw. We had no problem selling tickets. <laughs> The shelter is hosting their annual Cat Cabaret event this Sunday, but the usually sold-out event is struggling to sell tickets. The only thing that's not there this year is a big 30-pound cat. And I really wish he was. I wish more than anything he was there and he'd be there to greet people, but he's just not. But I don't want people to miss out on our event because we don't have our big cat there this year. Now, Will and Lauren are looking for your support to help cats like these at the shelter. If you're your cat person, you get it. If you're not, you just don't. You don't know why I'm crying right now. You're like, this guy's crazy. But if you're a cat person, you really understand. I do this so that other people can feel that love. The organization is also looking for volunteers and foster homes for their cats, but they really want to sell out this weekend's event. If you want information for the Cat Cabaret or to buy tickets, just go to our website at WXYZ.com. In Ferndale, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. We get it. Tough loss there.